Okay, so in this video, we're just going to look at this uh, little result called the intermediate value th that they call the intermediate value theorem for integrals. Like I've said before, I also view this as a kind of mean value theorem. So I'll kind of describe what I mean by that um, after we prove it. It's actually very short. I mean, it's very easy to prove. So let me state the theorem. So this is 33.9. Um, if f is a continuous function uh, on a b, then if there exists an x in the open interval a b such that um, f of x is one over b minus a times the integral from a to b of f. Okay, so um, you can view this as like the average value of f on a, b, which is part of why I call it the mean value theorem. I'll elaborate more on that after we prove it. The proof is, is actually pretty simple, so let's see. So proof. Okay, so let m be the maximum of f of, well, let's just say f of a, b, and little m is the minimum of f of a, b. Remember that these maxima and minima are achieved by f because it's a continuous function on a closed interval. So it actually makes sense to write max and min for this. Um, so if m equals little m, then f is constant and the result is immediate any x in a, b works in this case, right? Uh, otherwise, m is greater than little m. And um, and well, little m is less than or equal to f of x less than or equal to, or let's say f of t. I don't know, less than or equal to capital M for all t in a b. So, as we've seen before, the integral from a to b of little m dt is less than or equal to the, the integral from a to b of f, which is less than or equal to the integral from a to b of capital M, right, dt. Uh, and these are, you know, trivial to calculate. So little m times b minus a is less than or equal to um, the integral from a to b of f, which is less than or equal to uh, the integral from, well, actually strictly, okay, sorry. This is, these inequalities are actually strict. Um, okay, yeah, that's why they, um, so the reason, okay, right, 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 right. So the strictness is because, um, for example, is because e.g. m minus little f is uh, strictly greater than zero for some, I mean, it's greater than or equal to zero, right? Let's say t for all t in a, b, and it, is not zero identically, right? So there exist, the fact that there exist values of t for which m minus f of t is strictly greater than zero means that the integral, since f is continuous, right? This was one of the things we proved that like, if, an, if a function is non-negative, 
and there are some and, if it, and it's continuous and there are some values where it's strictly positive then the integral also has to be strictly positive right so this says that the integral of m minus f of t is strictly positive which means that the integral of f is strictly less than m okay that's that's why they put in the book they they include this argument they don't really explain it but um but yeah that's why they have to do this little dance here is to get these inequalities to be strict um and so and then this uh, this is strictly less than capital M times B minus A. So then dividing this through by B minus A, we get um, little m is strictly less than one over B minus A times the integral from A to B of F, which is strictly less than capital M. So by the intermediate value theorem, right, the normal intermediate value theorem for F, there exists an X in A, B such that uh, f of x equals 1 over b minus a integral from a to b of f and that completes it okay so um, now I said this is kind of like a mean value theorem I already kind of described that like this you can see this as like the mean value of f itself on the interval but there's another way of seeing why this is like the mean value theorem um, this also follows from applying the mean value theorem to any continuous f on a b for which f prime of x equals f of x on a b okay because then um because then we would have uh because this gives that there exists an x in a b such that f prime of x equals f of b minus f of a um oh yeah yeah uh, applying the mean value theorem to any and using the fundamental theorem of calculus Okay, right, this is the mean value theorem applied to capital F. And then this is F of X, right? And this is um, one over B minus A times the integral from A to B of F of X. Well, just F, yeah. Okay, so that's the other sense in which this is like, a mean value theorem is that it literally you could use the mean value theorem. if if you've proved the fundamental theorem of calculus then you can use the mean value theorem on an antiderivative of f to derive this like intermediate value theorem for integrals so anyway yeah um that's all for the intermediate value theorem for integrals and then uh yeah in the next and final uh segment we'll talk a little bit about some of the interesting results from functional analysis about um, convergence of sequences of functions and the convergence of their integrals. Yeah.